almost embarrassed. <laughs> I was thinking that I could remember all these things and, and uh, that I'm doing in ministry because I had previously, over the years, had been doing, like on the um, web, I had blogs and I was posting devotionals. I would post like usually, oh, I don't know, gosh, must have been 40 devotionals and then some other materials and then some Bible studies and just a whole ton of material. I mean, just tons of stuff. And, you know, I'd remember which order when. I just kind of, you know, I was able to do it. And um, didn't seem that hard, you know, to me at the time. Then gradually, when I started writing my book, you know, and got harder. And then when I was finished, when I finished writing my book and published it, then it got really hard. And then I kind of got distracted because I wanted to write the second book, you know, and I kind of got third book on the way and fourth books and all these other things going on in that series. And I was kind of like, and I was all over the place. So today I just realized, 
I haven't recorded any countdown songs, meaning we count down backwards from 150, you know, basically. Um, the songs, we count down backwards because that was kind of like the new thing that God was showing me. And I spaced it out this morning, so I didn't get it done in the morning, but I guess we'll get it do done at noon or night. <laughs> so we're here. We're doing it. And what was kind of cool was that, you know, when we start something, I never know what God's going to do. So in Countdown Psalms, we're not rapping it, but we're kind of like, you know, had the hoodie, so we had the hoodie on, so it's kind of like, dude, you know, we're kind of like, we're doing it, you know. We're monks. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're old enough to remember monks, but we're not doing the monk routine, we're doing the dude routine you know kind of like whosoever's or one of the other groups that's around kind of like you know dude we're giving you kind of we're giving away you these numbers and on these numbers and who says you're too old to rap so today we're reading songs or countdown psalms 149 because we already read 150 so cool that's where we're at Jack <laughs> well anyways <laughs> I was going to get into it I was kind of like yeah man I'm ready to dance let's go for it let's put on some music <laughs> get grooving oh well it's cool <laughs> praise ye the Lord sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints let Israel rejoice in him that made him let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Dude! <laughs> that don't sound cool. <laughs> I don't know about you, man. That sounds a little violent. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I think David, you know, being a man of war, he kind of like threw some extra things in there, kind of like, let's go get him. Because first he starts by rejoicing, and he's like, okay, now here's how we're going to rejoice. We're going to go get him, you know. We're going to kill, you know, and be killed. Oh, well, you know, praise you the Lord. I love the first part, and that's what most people remember, but not too many people think about to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Wow. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. That's kind of where people are at nowadays, so I don't know about you, but... I'd rather praise the Lord than get the vengeance part. Now, maybe you like the whole thing and you just kind of like let the high praise of God be in your mouth and the two edged sword in your hands to, you know, execute vengeance and all that other good stuff and bind your king with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron and to execute upon them the judgment written. See, you don't get to judge, but the judgment's already written. I know who wrote it. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, well. This honor have all his saints, you know. In other words, you kind of get to hold the sword, but you don't get to use it. You kind of get to bind the kings with chains and nobles, but you don't get to kind of like kill them, you know, because you're not a murderer. You're singing his praises. So the people that are worshiping God really aren't doing anything with their two-edged sword because you're holding it right here. You don't go out and get a sword that has two edges. You're holding a two-edged sword right here. It's an analogy. Come on now. Let's get real. These are priests people that are singing, rejoicing in heaven. You're not going to be holding some flaming sword. That flaming sword is going to look like the Word of God because you're going to remember it. And that's what your sword will be. If you got a little dagger, it's only because you only remember a little bit. You only memorize a certain amount of scripture. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dude, let's get real. So anyways, forget the dude. Let's be serious. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. So, countdown to Psalms, Psalms is countdown. Countdown to Psalms, Psalms countdown. Countdown to Psalms, oh that's right, this isn't an intro, this isn't an exit, this is just me. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> Aren't you glad? Could you imagine waking up to someone like me every day? Oh my God. 
So until next time, if I can remember to do it in the morning, it's Psalms. Let's turn back to number six. For a long time, I've been wanting us to learn this chorus that uh, Crystal taught us tonight uh, as sort of a, uh, a departing kind of a chorus. I think it's beautiful, you know, as sort of a conclusion to the service and departing from one another to pronounce this blessing of God upon each other. And uh, I don't know if Crystal's still here, but if she is, she can probably help me. I don't think I know this chorus, but I, I, I think I can start it if you can finish it. Ah, all right, Crystal. I'll, I'll sing the after part. Okay. No, tell you what. Let the men sing the first, the Lord bless you, and let the women echo it. And keep you, the women echo it. And... Uh, then we all sing together those other parts. So men, join with me. Women, join with Crystal. And then we'll all sing those parts together. The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. And keep thee. And keep thee. The Lord make his, his face, face to shine, shine upon thee. The Lord lift up, the Lord lift up his, countenance his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. The Lord bless thee. Once more, and this will be our benediction. The Lord bless thee, the Lord bless thee. and keep thee. Bless you.
The Bible contains the mind of God, the state of man, the way of salvation, the doom of sinners, and the happiness of believers. Its doctrines are holy, its precepts are binding, its stories are true, and its decisions are immutable. Read it to be wise, believe it to be safe, and practice it to be holy. It contains light to direct you, food to support you, and comfort to cheer you. It is the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff, the pilot's compass, the soldier's sword, and the Christian's charter. Here, paradise is restored, heaven opened, and the gates of hell disclosed. Christ is its grand subject, our good, the design, and the glory of God, its end. It should fill the memory, rule the heart, and guide the feet. Read it slowly, frequently, and prayerfully. It is a mine of wealth, health to the soul, and a river of pleasure. It involves the highest responsibility, will reward the greatest labor, and will condemn all who trifle with its sacred contents. Pray it in, read it through, live it out, and pass it on.